All right, welcome back to Wolf Among Us. I actually forgot the name for a second there. But yeah, welcome to part eight of episode. No, part eight, episode four. So we're in the butcher shop, and man, beauty and beauty and beast. I read some freaking discussions about that. People hate them, dude. I'm one of those people, man. They're just ah, oh, freaking dumb, dude. <laughs> I will not save them. They need saving. <laughs> That's just super dumb. We, we, we lived the. We weren't used to this. We lived the life of royalty. You don't understand, uh, baby. Empty. Oh my Andrew's God! Shut up, man. <laughs> or he doesn't have any. What a stupid couple. <laughs> right. I wish I didn't uh, lie to Beast though. Like, I, I didn't want to side. I don't want to side. To any of them <laughs> anymore. God damn it. Not very appetizing. Stupid man. <laughs> solid. Who'd want to eat this? All right. Hopefully that's the last we'll see of Beauty and Beast. <laughs> Big B Wolf. Hi. <laughs> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? Yes, those delivered goods. Um, let's see. <laughs> what do we have in stock? Let's uh, let's see what Gonna we got here. Gonna give me here. something steak good? <laughs> New York strip. Uh, cut the oh, crap. I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sirloin. I know about the deliveries. The ones going in and out of here. Well, of course there are deliveries. <laughs> We don't raise the cows in here. Beast told me. He said these packages aren't meat. Well, what else would they be? Glamour. <laughs> it's probably <laughs> glamour. <laughs> Illegal glamour. Well, oh, he's is nervous. What you get? Just meat. You don't find anything else. We just, uh... We do more wholesale and meat packing than walk-up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing I'm gonna be <laughs> here. And what if I do find something? Here? If you haven't been straight with me, really, sure. I'm pissed right now. You won't. Dude. We'll see. Because beauty and beef. <laughs> I, sheriff, I. Well, did you hear that? What? Uh oh. I'm real sorry. Hold on. Calling the police. I, I just gotta go check on that. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher. I just have to go see. God damn it, run after him or something. What did he press? What is that? An alarm? Shit. God damn it. Whoa. Really, I really like the art style here. <laughs> sure. I think Bloody Mary is here. <laughs> oh god. Coming to help you. <laughs> What's the problem? I'm just coming back to give you a hand. <laughs> Dude, I'm the sorry, delivery sheriff, on point. To be back here for, uh, <laughs> I just want to help. <laughs> he already has an axe. Come on, damn it. What's going on back here? <laughs> I'm just doing my job, Johan. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Uh oh. To kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. I can hear. <laughs> He's gonna get me killed. <laughs> Things I do. Huh? Hello. Please, please, Big me. Please don't. Big me. What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. <laughs> I don't wanna die. Please. Please don't kill me. Don't talk. talk, I might have to do just that. Is that what you want, Johan? No, no, please. You don't have to do that. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy even when they got you on a hook in the deep freeze. 
Oh crap. It's a hard one to live with. Just open the door, Johan. It won't be your problem anymore. I, I can't. Why not? What's back there? I don't know. I honest. I I've never God been back it. there. It's locked from the other side. Look. I, I just work the front. That's all I'm supposed to do. <laughs> so you are a part of this. Getting message You've been here. You've bullshitting me this whole time. Where's Mary? Where's the fucking crooked man? So help me, I will put your head through that damn door. Tell me what I need to know. Now. I don't know. I'm not part of their crew. Crew? The crooked man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case Bloody Mary. You want to talk about the oh, real crap. butcher? It's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me, took over my storage and delivery. I've heard enough, time. man. That's enough. All right. I've heard all I need to. Maybe I should have not. <laughs> I'm just a victim in this. Yeah, sure. I don't sure. know what they do back there. Let's see. Well, we're about to see what's back <laughs> there, and then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. But there we. Oh god, Mary's there, dude. I swear. It's gonna jump scare me. <laughs> Hello, Big B. <laughs> Tweedle. <laughs> what the hell is this? Drugs. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to, like, uh, cut this episode short. A little I'm gonna have to play just 10 more minutes but yeah I want to play with some boys <laughs> what is this place I told you Big P I don't know they muscled me out sure I swear I don't know anything more I haven't been back here when it was like this warning what is that this business. It's all I've ever had. These lights, Johan. Did you warn them I was here? I had to. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live sit with down. this in my back? <laughs> all right, Johan. Do me a favor. Just shut the fuck up and stay out of the way. Can you manage that? So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamour. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please. Didn't I tell you to sit down and shut up? Touch. <laughs> James. Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Alright, I'll, I'll do this. Uh, I'm gonna stop right now, but... I'm gonna stream tomorrow maybe? Or later? Bruh, and then just cut the it into a whole video. So, I'll, I'll still keep... Like ten parts, so yeah. I wanna go play with some boys and maybe I'll stream that too. Okay. I'll cut it right here and I'll just edit it. <laughs> Alright. I'll just say be right back. <laughs> Alright, so this is still part eight. I'm back. Alright. Let's finish this. Let's finish episode four. So where were we? We were talking about the glamour's here, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> that symbol. It's on all the packages. What is Again, it? I'm gonna it's edit the out the past brand. part eight and on edit it in into a whole here. video. So you do know something, huh? Is that a Anyway, let's listen. Real or what? <laughs> I guess they never used that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. By breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? Okay. Oh, I think this is the... Yeah, uh, people? Looks like... Math, math or something. What? 
Hello, what's this? Shit. Is everybody on here? Do you know anything about this? I I, I don't know. They all use a lot of fake a lot of things. Jesus man. If I see snow, I'm gonna be mad. Faith, Georgie. That was crispy. One second, I'll be right back. I'm gonna check something. Did I cancel out the freaking? Oh, whatever. <laughs> These are raw materials for making magic. Anti Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Hmm. Don't you see what's going on here? All these fables. Drugs. Magic from him. Business is booming. He's got all he needs. The raw materials. And the slave labor to process them. And with all this gear, looks like they could make just about any kind of magic. A lot of it. That's pretty clear why. Oh yeah? Why? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. Things that must have gone on here. It's the putting in pie girls with the ribbons. Whoever he's got in here in these chains, he's he's enslaving fables. Oh god. My watch. My watch. <laughs> no, the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. Fucker, Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Crane? <laughs> it's just like, if this yeah. All, I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important. Why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got some way. That's right. Oh, There's yeah. That creepy magic Mirror. mirror. With the big green head. You gotta fix that, man. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. Yeah, with stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Do I need Can't to tell this to him that's not <laughs> gives you trouble? None of your business, Butcher. Don't worry about it. Okay. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. Uh-huh. The lucky pawn. They oh, god damn it. Too. The lucky pawn. God if damn I it. can find the mirror <laughs> piece there, I can find the crooked man. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Big B. But what about me? Huh? Shoo. <laughs> what the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm going to have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my end. You won't have to worry, Johan. I'm gonna take him down. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Fine. <laughs> I thought the mic was muted. Oh, God. Let me just check real quick here. Do I... Okay, I don't need to click it. Thank God. I don't want anything muted again. God damn it. Lucky pawn. Jersey, don't don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna my fucking Jack, system. What the fuck is going on? But you I'm a the guy who just gonna sure. I'm the guy to keep uh, shit in order. You know. And that's it, Woody. If you love Jack so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? Jack. I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen. So get hey, the hey, fuck hey. out of my sight. Hit the bricks. See you later. Hey, what's going on here? What the fucking hell? Christ. And this fucking guy too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna- Damn, dude. He's a shit Strong. Uh, okay. Whatever. Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. You got here fast. 
Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park? Trust me, you do not want to go there. And what if I do? I'm gonna Back go, off, dog. I just want what's mine. My axe. You talk. Oh my god. But I don't think you got the stones to back it up. Oh Still god a damn it. Sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. This ain't gonna uh, ah. you I wanna deal fuck. with this. <laughs> oh, motherfucker. Oh. Uh. Do not what wanna deal with it. This is my fucking fight. Not oh now, my god. <laughs> you got a lot of nerve. Oh god. What is this? Tree ant. <laughs> what the hell is that? You know I can't fight anymore. <laughs> god damn it. Pull out a gun or something. Just <laughs> get your axe, man. Help me. <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah. Not in the mood to fight, damn it. I'm gonna die, Sammy. <laughs> oh, crap. Damn! Stabby stab. Wood, Woody, I need your help here. God. Oh my god. Wood. <laughs> hey asshole, I found her. Thanks, Woody. <laughs> Gosh, <I'm> in. <laughs> Freaking done here, mate. I'm all bloody again. God damn it. Missing shard. Where well, thanks, is it? Woody. <laughs> Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. Tell me. Oh! The next thing you say better be something useful. You can't find a crooked man. No one can. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Where's Crane's stuff? Where'd they put it? In back. Thanks. <laughs> Just go on. Get Crane shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Crane's coat. Hey. Time for traveler's checks, huh? He won't <laughs> be needing this anymore. <laughs> you didn't see anything. That sick piece of. What's that, snow? Shard. Thank God. It's the shard. Finally. Breaks it more. Hey, Sheriff. Uh oh. Those girls are still dead. 
Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Out of smoke. Give it, man. Fine work out there, Woods. <laughs> Thanks. Shitty grand. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Show us right. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something we can do about it. We can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. Damn right. <laughs> right. Go do it then. Thanks, Woody. Finally. That's what I get for kind of siding with him, I guess. Hey, Woody. Yeah. I'll see you around, all right? Yeah. I'll see ya. Yeah, damn it, man. I just healed myself. Now I'm all bloody again. <laughs> totally gonna die after this. <laughs> I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket. And you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, Sheriff I'm... Bigby has returned. Oh, my lord. Oh. There's the old wrecking bowl himself. Higby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. Just one moment, please. Look I'm a shark. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. I'm not in the mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally. Things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. It doesn't fit. <laughs> You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? I had to get real persuasive with the Jersey Devil down at the Lucky Pawn. But he told me that the crooked man's door, to wherever it is he hangs his hat, it moves. It's some kind of magic door. Do you think the mirror will be able Rip. to find the door? Once it's fixed? That's how Crane did it. And that's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? What? Why? It's just one piece. Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. <laughs> Why don't you go fuck off and tell her I'm getting ready? I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Oh my god. Have idea why? No way. Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. It had a front row seat to a pretty gnarly brawl at the Lucky Pond. When I found it, it was still in Crane's coat. Last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. Mirror, mirror. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. It's just one piece. Science, which he might not want to come out <laughs> with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong with Fatal Path. 
Is it fixed? Did you ask about the Crooked Man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? You they're at war. Some help over there. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really it, needs Toad. to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Hey, Toad. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. Toad, this is the business office, not a bank. You're always talking about glamours, and now it's my responsibility. Well, what about your responsibility? My car, total, the gaping maw in my wall, any Oops. of the sound familiar? <laughs> I'm not looking for a handout. Just what's right. I need it, baby. Fine, what is... <sighs> Here, Crane won't be getting any use out of this. Will that do? Crane's money, eh? Well, I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as anybody. Thank you, Sheriff. Use it to get glamour, Toad. You got the money now, so I won't be so lenient if I catch you again. And the farm is always on the table. But of course. <laughs> get out of here, Toad. Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Look, I'll take care of it later. I told him we'd work it out so he'd get out of our hair. We don't have time to worry about that right now. Bigby, what did I tell you? He's unglamored when this whole thing is over. I'll send him to the farm. No questions asked, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Ouch. Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the Crooked Man killed them with his own hand or if it was I one don't of know, his man. <laughs> But someone did. I don't know. But when I catch the fucker who did this, I'll find out why. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. Took long enough. <laughs> I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry. I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror. mirror. We're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Are you really sure you want to see him? You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get Bro, to deal with you I my way. I think Bloody way. Mary can see so us. So please, please disobey. She comes from mirrors. Someone's watching. Hey, baby. Yeah. What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, yeah. her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Mirror, mirror. Mirror, mirror. No time to pout. 
So, where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't Just recognize the door. the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold off. Oh. Changed. I think that's in the door. pudding. It moves. What I tell you. Wait a minute. I know that door. Put it in pie. That's Central Park. Oh, no, it's I don't not. know when it's Never gonna mind. move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. I just Bigby, wait. thought that because it's blue. When you get the crooked man, <laughs> make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. This All right. can't be like it was with Tweedledum. I don't care if it gets out of hand. You don't let it come to that. Okay. I know that emotions can run high. And you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I'll catch him and bring him back here. Alive. I hope. Clean them and cook them together. <laughs> Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Alright. <laughs> Kills him. <laughs> oh no. A gothic bridge. Holy crap. Is Bloody Mary? Oh wait, no. Go. Oh. Just breach it. Go. Why am I out here now? <laughs> God, that's creepy, dude. Who the Tim, hell is that? What the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Tiny Tim. You'd think I'd have outgrown that centuries ago. Fine, whatever. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know. They said you made it pretty clear. They have their own magic mirror. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Fine. Lead on. Quick though, what the <laughs> Thanks for understanding. So comical. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. Tim, how can you be working here? You know who this guy is, don't you? He's not. He's not as bad as you. Oh, think. that's the same with the janitor. He doesn't here. treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. I'm oh, sorry, kid. I'm gonna Just have to take him down. Keep that in mind, maybe. Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is gonna get caught in the middle. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? Work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty too. It's not so bad. Not so bad. Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Fine. Thanks. <laughs> Am I some kind of fucking joke for you? What did I tell you, eh? Stop laughing at me. <laughs> Who's back yeah. there? Tell me who the fuck is I back there. I don't, I don't, don't exactly know. Problem. I, I just mind the you door. Need to worry. The boss You'll is come there. Around, and like crazy that for him. I'm sure he will prove himself quite handy to have in my pocket. Either he's smart enough to see this is for the best, or dim enough to do as he's told. I say he'd be more useful killed. I, don't, I won't knock. Bloody hell! This fucking guy! 
Oh god. Stop. I was wondering when you'd turn up. I'm sorry, sir. He, he wouldn't let it's me. It's all right, Tim. I shouldn't have expected the sheriff to give you respect enough to do your job. But you did fine. You can go now. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. All right, let's talk. All right, you got me here. Let's talk. Hell yeah. That was a short episode, actually. <laughs> Next time. And the wolf among us. Last episode, here we go. <laughs> about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. <gasps> <laughs> Alright, let's see our choices. You and 85.5 of players decided Colin should not go to the farm. I decided that? I thought he was going to the farm. Even 63.8 of players did not try to remove the ribbon. Yeah, that's just common sense, man. You'd think there's something about that ribbon. <laughs> Which crooked operation did you investigate first? Even 63.2 players went to cut above first. What? Okay. Did you send Toad to the farm? You and 73.3 did not go to the farm. Okay. <laughs> How did you respond to Crooked? I'm actually- This looks like I'm actually defying Snow. <laughs> How did you respond to Crooked Man? You and 41.8 the players agreed to talk with him first. I mean, I'm already injured, so I'm not in tip-top shape. So, <laughs> I don't think it's a wise idea to just- <laughs> Go freaking take him. <laughs> anyway. That is episode 4. We are now on to... Jesus, I always forget about that. <laughs> we are now on to episode 5. And I will possibly stream that tomorrow. But I will also do a New Year's Eve stream. Just one. Because, I don't know. Too much streams makes me... <laughs> makes me gone <laughs> but yeah also I will edit this part 8 the, the one that I streamed earlier and I will edit it to make it one part because I want this game to have 10 parts and all <laughs> alright so yeah see you guys next time bye